Today's video is brought to you by Mrs. Six Spoon Staff Stories, Episode 3. She animates it, I voice it, and despite my complete lack of talent, she managed to make them really good. Check it out, link in the description. So, I've been told to check out a new medical device called Healy. Here's an excerpt from their advertising. It's the first smartphone controlled wearable that provides easy support in all important areas of your life with the use of frequencies. And as we all know, medical devices slash treatments that help in literally every area of your life are always completely legit and never total horse gubbins. And don't get me started on frequencies. That just means super health makerizing and not this does absolutely nothing, don't buy it for God's sake. Anyway, let's find out from a real person instead of advertising just how amazing this thing is. Are we recording? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. So, Crystal, thank you so much for coming on to do this demo with me tonight. Um, what a great start. Our as unyet seen guest is called Crystal. So she's either a hippie, a stripper, or a quote-unquote Karen. And two things I want to take a quick moment to say. If you are called Crystal and you are none of those things, way to let the side down. Gah! And secondly, to all persons actually called Karen, I know it's hard having your name associated with dipshits, but look at it this way. At least you aren't called Gavin Pringle. What kind of name is Gavin Pringle? Sounds like the sort of name strangers on the internet would make up for me. Wait. The purpose of this demo is so that whomever is watching it in the future can kind of sort of get an idea about the Healy. Ah, you're going to demonstrate it totally working, right? And not it not doing that with a bunch of ridiculous claims as to its capabilities and really silly ideas about how well reality functions in order to make those claims quote unquote plausible, right? What it's about and um, when we talk about the resonance, they can sort of have a knowing of a little bit about what it can do. Oh, cool. I have always wanted to have a knowing about what a thing can do. This woman speaks like I do when I'm taking the mic. This does not bode well. Also, she said resonance, which is like doubly not boding well. Everyone prepare for doing yourselves of the stupids. What I'm finding with the resonance and having mine for the past three or four weeks is there's so much to it. There's so much to it that it does literally nothing. That's how deep and complex the device is. The more it can do, the less it can do. That makes sense, right? I mean, I guess it would if you were running off of homeopathic logic, which, well, considering all the bottles in the background, it's either going to be that or essential oils. Uh, as long as it's not both, though, I don't think I could cope. That um, when you first receive yours, um, just know that there's a lot that you can do with it. <laughs> You can use it as a coaster. You can throw it in the bin. You can eat it. You can shove it up your arse. A lot. Um, Uh-oh. Crystal looks like a real Cheryl Pringle. Man, that name sounds made up too. Like it's made up for my female counterpart or something. Weird. Like literally you can infuse, um, like I have a bunch of essential oils behind me here. Uh, of course you do. What is it about every woo having essential oils right there next to it, regardless of what it is or what it does? Like, I get it. Lavender smells kind of okay, but those little bottles tend to reek when you open them and just make your house smell like a... Well, I'm going to use a slightly offensive euphemism here, but it's the only one that really works, so bite me. It makes your house smell like a tart's handbag. And the only reason I would imagine wanting to do that is that you somehow smell worse. And to be fair, or unfair, depending on how you think about it, in most woo peddlers case, that's usually true. Mostly because they smear some kind of animal effluence all over themselves because health. You don't smell earthy, you smell like shit. And you can take in a bottle of essential oil and set it on top of the Huey and record the vibration of the oil. <laughs> you can what now? You can record the vibrations of the essential oil onto your Bluetooth urinal cake that you have there. I'm going to have to go ahead and doubt that inside and out. First off, that sounds kind of homeopathy. Uh, 
And it's just the silliest thing that I've heard all hour. Like, how would that even work? Oh, wait. I think I know, actually. It doesn't, because it's dumb. Am I right? I bet I'm right. And then add that frequency to the vibrations that you're receiving when you're doing your own. So you could put, like, gold on here or flowers. Or a drink, because it's only actually valuable purpose is as a coaster. And even then, I bet it's a really, really crappy one that will probably just burst into flames from the heat of a tepid cup of cocoa. And then, of course, burn your house down. I would test if that's true, but even if it isn't, knowing my luck, it would burst into flames anyway, just to spite me. Or whatever. Super fancy. Like, yeah. Hey, I could also make up claims about some hunk of junk I made by plugging in an off-brand pound store Bluetooth dongle into a Raspberry Pi. I could say that the quasars of the radiant Bluetooth technology will help you grow an extra limb that you can use to constantly pound shots of whiskey. But it would be as untrue as basically all the claims about your gubbins. And if I'm wrong, I would love to see some proof. And not just a, my cousin did it and he says he feels better. Shut up your cousin, you're an idiot. And your cousin. Yes, all of your cousin are stupid. Yeah. yeah, so, but that's like another layer, another video. Just tonight, we're going to do just the, um, just some of the basics. Well, I cannot wait. God, there must be a lot to these basics. This video is 30 minutes long, so I'm assuming it is stuffed to the gills with quality, informative content, every second of which is absolutely crucial to getting the word out about your magic electric waffle. <laughs> So I would like to be able to share my screen. I'm going to show um, all of the Healy editions and then we'll do um, a vibration recording for you and do an analysis for you and send out that frequency. Wait, wait, wait. Are you saying that this frequency gubbins can be sent over the interwebs? I mean, I know that sound and light is frequency, basically. So obviously we do send data packets containing the information to see and hear those vibrations, as it were. But, I mean, these physical vibrations contained within an object? I'm just, I don't know, man. A little bit stumped as to how that would work. Mostly because I reckon you can't get them into your little nonsense machine anyway. Um, whomever's watching this in the future, too, can also receive that frequency if they're willing to receive it so yeah i have so many questions like how does someone choose to not receive a frequency that suggests it's not just from previously mentioned sound and light but something beyond but again what makes it so that you can or can't could someone accidentally accept a frequency what if you were malicious and sent out bad frequencies would it work like a Trojan virus? You tell them it's the frequency to cure their acne and it actually gives them explosive diarrhea. Seriously, how the hell does this work? Um, that's a possibility with this as well. A few seconds, I'm going to shut my door. <laughs> okay. That's some riveting content. It's almost like I knew that was coming up or something. Seriously, Grills. Edit your downtime. There's no excuse for wasting your audience time unless you're actually trying to piss them off. Oopsie daisy, I just replayed the exact same clip again. Butterfingers. That moment when you're recording a session and your partner comes home and turns on the TV full blast. That piece of human garbage. How dare they come home and want to relax and not give a crap about you and your mates having your little round circle of bad idea sharing. Time for a divorce, I say. Give the poor bastard a well-deserved break. Ta-da! <laughs> awesome. Okay, cool. Okay, do I have share screen? Yes. Okay, awesome. So let's go to this little slide over here. Can you see that, Crystal? Yes. The gold? Okay. Wait, wait, no, wait, slow down, decrease, speed, etc. What the hell is that? $470? Wait, no, I'm wrong. $470 plus tax? 
Holy donut crapping Christ! That's a lot of goddamn money for something that more than likely has less utility than a slice of toast. No, no, no. That's got to be, like, the super premium version or something. That is an absurd amount of money to spend. No. No fucking way. Seriously, I am writing this part as I am finding out this fact, and I can't actually believe it. Now, bear in mind that this is in Euro biscuits, but honestly, call it Americano dollary dues, it's pretty much the same amount. The gold, the 500 bucks, absurdly priced, gold, a name usually reserved for premium models of services, is the cheapest by a lot. Would you look at this shit? The top price is 2,500 for what looks like an MP3 player from the mid 2000s. What is going on? So there are four editions that of like four packages that you can buy in with the Healy for the Healy. There's also a Healy watch that comes with its own set of packages and it also um, integrates with your Healy. Oh, and of course there's an absolute bugger ton of guff to go with it. Right, what is this thing actually supposed to do? There's a thing here from the marketing guff. Let's take a quick look. Disclaimer. Healy is a medical device for the treatment of pain in chronic pain, fibromyalgia, skeletal pain and migraine, as well as for supportive treatment of mental illnesses such as depression, anxiety and related sleep disorders. All other applications of Healy, as well as the cell membrane tension model, according to Nordstrom, are not recognised in conventional medicine due to the lack of evidence in the sense of conventional medicine. And you know what I realised after reading that? This is a TENS machine. And you know what else? I am pretty sure that I am right. Healy seems to have passed FDA approval as a TENS unit. You know how much a TENS unit usually costs? Like 30 or 40 bucks. 100 if you get a reasonably fancy one. Not 500 or 2500 unless you're buying a gold-plated one with diamond-encrusted buttons. So here's my theory, that's not backed up by anything other than me not being an idiot, well not being a complete idiot, and I have to disclaimer myself that this ain't idle fact, but cold hard speculation. They make a TENS unit. TENS units are known to work. It doesn't do anything else, but they say it does. Someone gets it, finds it relieves XYZ pain because they have a condition that the TENS can relieve, and boom, you got them. They are going to be a true believer and evangelist, and it doesn't matter that the other claims aren't substantiated or supported or, you know, like, work, with no evidence backing them up, because that's just from standard medicine. But this thing does work, kinda, but only in a very, very specific way, but they must be right. Holy crap, this is actually legitimately messed up. Absolute bold-faced scam. God damn as well. So that can be a different video than the one tonight. Tonight we'll just go through what the what the resonance can do and the other um, additions. The Healy Gold will come um, with these um, frequencies or these frequencies already programmed. And so you'll download an app and then you can receive these remotely and you can also hook yourself up to electrodes. Wait, so you don't even have to be connected to the device for it to work? What? That can't be right. And put these on your body that then connect through these cords to the Healy and you can wear them. So it's just another experience that you can have with your Healy. You don't have to be hooked up to the electrodes to receive the vibrations or the frequencies. Oh my God, you really don't. This just gets more and more nonsensical. How can anybody fall for this crap? You know, aside from the magic trick part. But even then, surely, if I'm right about this and that is a working TENS machine, you have to connect yourself for that part to work. I mean, even Air Taser fires little barbed dealies in you to give you a nice big electric shock. It's just something that if you want to do them that way, you can. I personally enjoy having that um, option and that experience. Not everybody enjoys that. Some people are really sensitive to the um, energy 
and they don't want to be hooked up to the electrodes. You know what? I'm not even having fun anymore. I'm actually legit pissed off. These motherfucking snakes on a plane, as with all of them to be fair, are just absolute snake oil merchants. But the sheer audacity of the pricing and blatant, you don't even have to touch the thing for it to work, gibberish, simply blows my mind. I have been into this and I have seen claims that you don't even have to be in the same goddamn building as a Healy device to receive its magical powers. And that's what it is. Magic. And the thing about magic, much like many of the claims of Healy, it doesn't work. Wait, before you go, I have something super important to tell you. It's life or death. It will change everything forever. Nope. Wait, it's gone. Oh well, probably wasn't important. But while I have you, don't forget to comment, subscribe and notify. And if you want more of my smexy voice, check out Mrs. Six's channel Spoon Star Stories, where I narrate and voice all the videos. And she does the work. And if you want to support the channel, check out the merch store for cool t-shirts, or check out Patreon, memberships and PayPal to support directly. Finally, follow me on the medias of social to get completely pointless guff and to keep up on the latest releases. Oh, I just remembered what I was going to tell you. Whatever you do, don't touch the-